So within Power World, one of your main goals is to catch and fight those pals. In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know in regards to leveling powers up, upgrading their abilities, making them much stronger, and more. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So having the ultimate powers is what we all want, but to achieve this, no matter the power you have, requires work on your behalf. This is achieved through you upgrading said powers, and while there are a few different ways to do this, so let's get into it. But before we do guys, check out and join my Power World community over on my Discord. Come along, talk about the game, share secrets, all that good stuff. My Discord is linked down below. So firstly, leveling those powers up. Now this simply means earning XP for them. Now there are a few different ways to do this, but the quickest way uh, by an absolute mile is to have said powers that you want to level up in your party, go out into the open world and catch powers you don't already have 10 of. What I mean by this is use those spheres and catch powers. Once you have 10 of a single power, XP gains will drop. Until you have 10 of a single said power, you earn crazy amounts of XP. Anything from 40 to 200 per one you catch on your character itself and also great XP gains on your pals. And those XP gains share across all active party pal members, so that's pretty cool. Now when doing this, it doesn't matter if the pals are big or small. Pals as small as Captivas, Lambels and Chickapees all give you amazing XP until you have 10 of them. Then it falls off. Now upon you leveling your pals up that are in your party, they will at certain points learn brand new skills, which is awesome. So keep an eye out for that, you'll get like a notification right next to where they appear and the top left next to their names. Now killing pals out in the open world will reward you XP, but nothing like just simply taming and capturing them. So you may as well just tame them people. Now another way to get skills and new abilities for your pals is to find and locate those skill fruit trees. These can be found within numerous parts of the map and there's actually one right near the start, the very first area. Now this can be seen on screen now people the exact location and with these skills on these trees you simply just pick them off and although they are random they will eventually respawn with different ones. So you can keep coming back here and checking and getting those three skills. Then if you have skills which can be applied to your pals, you simply add them from your inventory and put them on your pals. It really is as simple as that guys. Now another way of upgrading pals is to use that statue of power. Now this level 6 blueprint you can create and place at your base and it allows you to not only level up your power catching stat by using that effigy glowing green statues you find all around the map which are by the way very apparent at night time but you can also level up individual stats on your pals by using those power souls which come in small medium and larger forms. Obviously certain powers fall into these categories here, uh, but these power souls can be found randomly all over the map. They can also be looted from chests, and I'm sure they also drop from certain powers too, if I am remembering this correctly. Now the medium powers and the larger power souls that I have seen have normally come from the later stage areas, like this snowy area and by the volcano. I've got loads of these from the chests up here. So around the start of the game guys, you're probably only going to be finding the small power souls until I believe you start leveling up upwards of like a level 20. So do bear that in mind. But when you do have uh, enough of these uh, power souls, you simply come to the statue of power. Uh, you select on the power you want to upgrade and just simply upgrade its stats. It really is that simple guys. Now there are also powers within this game that upon you taming them, you will also unlock blueprints with them that can further make them better in that combat. Now there's powers like mounts that you'll tame, you'll unlock a saddle for it within that blueprint. But there's ones like the fox parks that once you tame this dude, you unlock the blueprint which turns this dude into a flamethrower. You craft this guys, then you can pick this little dude up, run around, send everything ablaze and there's plenty of this nature too there's plenty of powers that once you tame if you go into your blueprints have a look you'll see that you can unlock certain things for them and use them in combat some things don't actually require you to do anything 
Some things you unlock actually just add things to the pad itself, where said pad will use it automatically when you're in combat, meaning you can do your own thing, stand back and shoot said pal you're fighting up against. Now there is another way to make your pals even more powerful, but it requires you to have the pal essence condenser. Now to unlock this guys, you need to be a level 14. You also need to get yourself those ancient technology points, and these ain't the easiest to come across, especially within the early game. Now I do believe these only come from trainer boss fights, as well as those much larger world bosses. So obviously it takes some progress in the game. Now the actual trainer boss fights, I'm not sure if these are repeatable, but the first one you come up against ain't too bad as long as you're around that level 20 or so, you should be able to take this out. Now the actual larger world boss fights can be a little more tedious, I won't lie to you, but you gotta do what you gotta do guys, the game's all about progressing, leveling up, making those powers more powerful, and these are what you gotta work towards fighting against, so keep that in mind, but yes, those ancient technology points ain't the easy to come across, but once you have them, you better spend them wisely. And these are needed to unlock that PAL Essence Condenser. So once you have these points and you've unlocked this PAL Essence Condenser, you now need to craft it, which also requires you to have ancient civilization parts. Now there are a few places these actually come from, they ain't that hard to get, the main place I get them from are those dungeon bosses. Now there are a couple of early dungeons that are quite easy to do. But upon you defeating the bosses guys, you get a few of these ancient civilization parts. When you also come up against or find one of those super rare, ultra rare actually, shiny powers. These ones that glimmer, they're a little larger. They are a little tankier, they hit harder. But if you tame these or even take them down, you should be rewarded more ancient civilization parts parts now these also come from world bosses too big or small and there's also a couple of guys on the map of these world bosses that are easy to take out now i have noticed a couple of these have respawned after i have fought them but i'm not sure if you kill them again you'll get the ancient civilization parts so that's something you'll have to try out so once you have this unlocked place it down within your base and how this works is quite simple. So you will need four spares of the same power you want to upgrade. So if you have a Sparky and you want to make him more stronger, more powerful, you need to sacrifice four other Sparkies to use their essence in making your main Sparky stronger. In doing this, you can see the increases what will happen to your main power before you sacrifice the others. And although the upgrades ain't massive, I do believe you can do it multiple times. So yeah, it just gives you a reason to go out and tame more of the same pal. But there we have it guys, the best ways and easiest methods in upgrading your pals. Now you can breed pals too, which I've already made a complete guide on, which I'll link in the video description if you do want to check it out. But yeah everything you need to know about upgrading those pals guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one